It's been some three different plans here. Today I'm going to show you how to get your first print with your solid ink. So what we're going to do first is go ahead and connect our printer. So there's a button on the top left of your screen to go ahead and click that. This is your slicer settings, so you can slice from here, change a few settings. That's your G-code editor. And what we'll go ahead and do next is heat up the print bed. Usually I use 100 degrees for this to get better sticking. So, and now we're going to go ahead and add an object. So you can get objects from Thingiverse, and you can also make your own if you've got a 3D design software like Auto, Autodesk Inventor. So what you can do with once you've added the object, you can center it, you can enlarge it, you can remove it, you can also copy the object and add other objects as well. So now we're going to go ahead and slice the object. So this can take anywhere from 5, five to 10 seconds to maybe even a couple of minutes sometimes. Depends on how fast your computer is or the size of the object. So as you can see, once it's sliced, it comes up with all the different layers. You can use these sliders at the bottom to check the different layers if you want to. And you can also see the printing time down there, 59 minutes, 27 seconds. Don't be afraid to uh, just play around with your different settings and try out different things. You can always revert back to the original settings. I'll be back once the 3D printer is warmed up. So the heat bed's reached 92.5 degrees now. So what we're going to go ahead and do is heat up the extruder up to around 190 to 195 degrees for extruding. Do this before you're going to print. You don't want to leave it on too long. So what we've done now is homed the print platform and the print head. So as you can see, it moves up the print the extruder moves over to the right hand corner. We can also change, manually change where the printer is or the print head. So as you can see you're moving it in the X, Y and you can also move it in the Z direction, so up and down. That's for the print bed. So go ahead and home it to get it back to the starting position. So now that our extruder is heated up, as you can see on the bottom left of, your, of the screen, we're going to go in ahead and run job, which should start the 3D printing process. So what it does first is creates a border, and then because I've got the raft setting on, which you can change in your slicer settings, it prints a raft. This is to stop warping of your object. So if you have any problems, you can also hit the kill job or pause job to stop the printing process. Thanks again, Ben from 3D Print Plans.